okay, so Apple have announced the new iPad Pro and uh, there's a new keyboard with a official trackpad on it uh, and it does look very nice, but it is quite steep. So the price is, uh, well in the, in the States it's 299 and 349 depending on the size of iPad you have. So I've got a much cheaper Logitech keyboard, might not give you all the functionality, but it does do quite a lot. Uh, so the dongle is plugged into an official Apple USB adapter, which you can see here. And uh, let's switch views so you can see what things you can do with the keyboard. If I do that, you can see that I can scroll up and down with two fingers, but there's a lot more that you can do. Okay, so this method works on pretty much all iPads with a lightning connection, as long as you're running iOS 13.4. So you can see that the trackpad, if I put two fingers on, I can move up and down but I can also move around the screen. And as you hover over certain text, you can see it changes to a very handy sort of line. Uh, and then if I go up to the top, uh, as you go over things like these, uh, like the bookmarks, it kind of hovers on various different things. You can see it changes its shape and it actually feels very intuitive. I'm really impressed by how they've done this. The one thing I'm a bit surprised that they didn't seem to implement is pinch to zoom. So if I pinch, it doesn't do anything. But as I say, I can scroll up and down, and if I want to uh, zoom, obviously I can touch the keyboard and zoom in onto that, but, uh, but it doesn't support it on the keyboard. So let's go through some of the shortcuts that we've got. So if we press uh, F5, that's search on this keyboard, uh, and then so you can search for various different things, but you can also search for apps as well. Press F5 to get rid of it, so F5 back. So say I wanted mail, you can see that I could do that, and then I could click on that and it would launch mail. Uh, but I'll go back by pressing F5. Uh, if I press, uh, if I wanted to try music for instance, F5, uh, music, I can launch the music app with the mouse. I can then start playing a track. Although it's not coming through because it's screen capturing, uh, but then I can pause that track I can also skip to the next track as well, uh, and that all works. You might be able to hear this in the screen recording. I'm not hearing it uh, because uh, the, the iPad's not outputting the sound while screen recording. So I've also got mute as well. So I've got volume controls here, and I've got mute and off and on. Uh, so on Safari, there's a few different things that you get. So if I, also if I do Windows and Tab, you can see it switches between apps, so I can go back to the home screen, Windows tab, back to the app I was on. But if I want to Windows and then keep pressing tab, I can flick through and then go to Safari. So you can see I'm back on Safari and the mouse is working fine. You don't have to do anything on this, it just works. You plug in uh, a mouse a keyboard dongle and it, and it automatically works. But I think the caveat might be that you need one that the mouse and keyboard is all together or is on one dongle, but I haven't tried it on other devices, but I did in the in the previous versions. So if I tap up on the search bar here, so if I press Alt and then a letter, you can see that it gives me loads of different symbols. So you, if you often use foreign symbols or, or different symbols, that seems to be a way of accessing those. If I right click on the recently opened tabs, you can see that I've got close all tabs, open a new window, new private tab, new tab, which is quite nice, nice and quick. If I press Windows and Space, so let's just click back on the document, uh, Windows and Space, that's the search as well. If I press Windows and P, that gives me a print option, and you can see that comes up very straightforward. If I press Windows and back and forward, it moves forward and back within web pages. So within your tab rather. So it moves your pages forward and back. Windows and F, something that I use a lot, finding page. So if I was to put in keyboard, you can see that it's highlighted it and I can go down here and keyboard is mentioned 28 times on here. So you can see you can flick through and it works very nicely. Let's hit done to get rid of that. One of my favorites is space to scroll down. Really nice. Um, so if you're reading a page and you get to a point, it will then take you down, like a page down option, but, but super quick and, and really nice and fluid. If I do Windows and L, that gives me my shortcuts. So I can then, 
basically click on a, a web page like Hot UK Deals and it will launch that. And you can see I can move up and down. So let's do something with uh, an office based app. So, so let's press the, press the window space bar to search uh, and let's go for office and click on that. So plus documents create from template. Let's pick something with a bit going on, something like this. So the cursors don't work on this. So you do have to use the mouse pad to do it. And it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it moves as well as it should. Uh, and I don't know if this is a deliberate thing, but if I double click on some text, uh, it should click on one word, but it does something weird. And it, occasionally it will do it where it does do it on double click. But, and I haven't tried this on pages. I don't really use pages. I don't really use office documents. So all I use is notes really on the iPad uh, if I'm compiling text for my YouTube videos and things. But if we try, instead of that, let's try Google Docs. So let's open that up. There is my cat. Uh, and so if I want to double click, you can see that it actually works perfectly fine on this. But in Office, it does it weird, where it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. And if I drag over text, you see I've got all my options here. So I can cut, I can then put it down here, right click and paste. And it does feel like you're using it on a normal Windows desktop environment or Mac desktop environment. So if you press and hold the Windows key, it will give you the shortcuts. There you go. Uh, and so this tells you various different shortcuts that are in here. Add bookmark, add to reading list, reopen last, close tab, close tab. And different apps give you different menus pertaining to those apps. So anyway, I'm impressed. It's definitely got better. Um, this keyboard is, is really quite inexpensive. The Apple USB adapter is more expensive than maybe it should be, but it is very handy. There are all sorts of things you can do with it. And I use it especially with uh, my little USB adapter. And I've got a video on that uh, that explains how you can use one of these with an SD card like a USB stick, but without having any external power. So it's worth checking that out. You can even use it with a USB hub as well. So you can have a couple of USB sticks, you can be copying things from one to the other and be using mouse and keyboard. So it does make the iPad uh, more productive in a different way. Uh, I mean, I love my iPad and I use it for all my video editing and uh, all my uh, photos and, and well, pretty much it's my main computer. So uh, anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.